So today's video, or another one of these videos from today, is going to be about this Netflix documentary called Seaspiracy. Okay, I'm just gonna sum it up for you here today. So if you haven't watched it, or if you don't want to watch it, you can watch this video. If you don't want to hear the shit, you should probably hear it anyways. So just watch it because it's not there's really no spoilers just facts so it doesn't really matter anyways if i tell you so i'm gonna go through that right now so the basically the the commercial fishing industry is the big the big uh person in the room that's bad they have these sustainable fishing things and they're sustainable so-called sustainables not no way uh sustainable it's completely uh, unregulated for the sustainability. Observers have gone missing, have been killed. These uh, sustainability observers have been th thrown overboard, killed. There's uh, fishing that's going on in Thailand where they have slaves on ships where they'll act nice on the shore. Then when they get them on the ship, then they, then they beat them and they kill people and all sorts of shit. And they just say that they disappeared. You know, they, they got sick and they fell overboard. You know, that's what they say. And then, uh, so there's slavery going on in the fishing industry. And, you know, 90% of, of, you know, of the coral reefs are, are gone. And be, this is happening because of overfishing. Overfishing is caught because their poop would, would fertilize the coral reefs of the fish. And also, of uh, it's heating the oceans because the fish are, aren't moving and moving the currents of the water because fish actually do more for the waves than than the, act of, than the moon does. You know, the, the fish are everywhere and they, they're keeping the, the currents, you know, moving in the ocean. So they're going up, you know, swimming up to the surface and going down, whales and all sorts of different things. And of... Uh, People say that fish don't feel pain. It's another misconception. Fish 100% feel pain. They have more, they can feel more pain than humans can feel because they can feel water moving from far away and a predator coming before they even get close. So their, their ability to feel is much higher than humans' ability to feel, probably. And, um, yeah, because they can actually feel stuff in the water from before it even gets close to them. You, can you do that? No, you can't. Okay? You can feel something touching your skin. They can feel it before it even touches them. Far away. Like, no. And that's something you can't do. So, that, that's that's another f part of that. So, and then, uh, also, there's, uh, pretty much the entire shit's unsustainable. Don't eat any fish. They have plant-based solutions, which actually... The, uh, the omega of uh, fatty acids or whatever it is, the fish oil, the benefit comes from algae. It's not from not from the fish. The fish is just the middleman from eating the algae and con consuming algae through their food. They get it and they get fish oil. So consuming plant-based fish is going to be your best bet. So that's that's the ultimate goal is what they're saying. Don't don't support the fishing industry. Don't fucking help anyone in this fishing industry because literally they're completely killing the oceans. They're they've deforested the oceans more than uh, than deforestation has done like the sheer amount because what they're doing is they're dragging nets which rip everything up and destroy it all sorts of ecosystems and uh, and the net pollution is 46% of the plastics and the ocean is is nets okay 46% is and then most of it's all fishing pollution it's not anything else all the other you know bottles and everything else that we have is just a small fraction of it well it's, most of it's fish, fishing nets so if we were using if, you know if they were using hemp fishing nets it would make a world of difference but they would fall apart easier and they have to buy more nets and it would cost more money to make but anyways uh yeah ultimately they're like just don't fish this is pretty much the ultimate solution for this and don't support of uh, but they're also saying you know there's there's a certain type of whaling that they do in uh iceland or some shit like that where they they uh they chase in the whales, these big whales, and then they uh, 
they chase them onto the surface and then they uh, they spear them and cut them and, and kill them or whatever. And uh, in the head, they have a certain way that they kill them and they get down to the brain or whatever real, real easily. And uh, it's supposedly, you know, the closest thing to sustainable that they have. And, you know, they've what their what their reasoning was that they feel better, you know, killing one of these, taking one of these lives and taking the lives of 2000 chickens or whatever, because it's the same amount of meat and they're not having to drag nets and they're not catching byproduct fish as these other uh, fishing sort of things do by dragging nets you're just you're they're creating tons of byproduct in their fishing they're they're creating like um they're catching you know dolphins and seals and all sorts of other shit tons of these animals and they're most of the time they don't survive uh and they just get thrown back in as and just garbage, uh, see garbage, and it's quite bad, so, yeah, ultimately, just don't eat any seafood, okay, you know, just get plant-based seafood, which just sounds weird, but, hey, you know what, there's not going to be any seafood left if we continue to eat seafood, so, we're not going to have much of a choice anyways, so just start getting used to it, it's a plant-based seafood, because that's where this world's going to go in the future, I'm glad it came back to the time where I could enjoy everything before the whole world's destroyed. Like you always, it's the most fun time to be on this planet, and I'm just glad to be here with y'all. So, it's good to be here, and I'm glad you're here with me, and I'm glad you're watching this video and enjoying yourselves and having your life and doing your shit. Doing you. Doing you. Yep. Anyways, that is Seaspiracy for you, okay? So, Seaspiracy, Netflix documentary you should check it out if it doesn't bring you to tears at some point you're not a very good human being okay and you're not in touch with yourself enough so yes you should go watch it it's very good anyways i'll talk to you all later and hope you all have a glorious magnificent wonderful beautiful awesome day i love you all so much until next time bye bye Mwah.